everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I've got a fun Valentine treat for you. I guess it's not Valentine's. I have Valentine's on the brain, but it could be an anytime treat. And it holds one of these Hershey's Hearts bars. I found these at Walmart this year in the Valentine section. Um, so it fits in that box perfectly. I'm using a couple of different stamp sets. I'm using the For You from Love For You, but the Love For You bundle. I'm using this adorable heart from Country Bouquet. And I am using the favored flower dies, which cut out the, fl the flowers from our favored flowers DSP. Fragrant, <laughs> it's a tongue twister, fragrant flower bundle, favored flower designer series paper. This paper is free in the celebration catalog, free with a $50 purchase. The bundle that coordinates with it is in the annual catalog and the die will cut out the flowers that are in the paper. Okay, let's do our stamping first, and then we'll bring over our cut and emboss machine. All right, I am gonna use my Stamparatus to stamp this heart. It's a two-step stamp, and we wanna get them lined up. So I'm gonna start with my flower, the flowers part of the heart. We've got flowers and we've got leaves. And I'm gonna stamp the flowers. Well, first, let's pick it up. Get it on our paper. Photopolymer stamps are sticky, so sometimes they'll pick up your paper. So you wanna make sure you're using your uh, magnet, and you can even use your scissors like I did to hold down your paper. Doesn't happen all the time, just sometimes. All right, now Fresh Freesia is a really light color, so I'm gonna stamp it a couple of times so that it's a little bit darker. Okay, so the Stamparatus allows you to stamp in the exact same place each time. All right, now your Stamparatus comes with two plates. So if you were gonna stamp this multiple times, you could line it up once and keep it on both plates and it will line up every time. All right, now you're gonna need to wiggle this around so that everything is in place. It takes me a few minutes to see if everything is in place. There we go, I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna lay this down and pick it up. And I really don't want the paper to move this time because it's gotta be in the exact same spot. All right, Mossy Meadow ink. And let's see how we did. Oh, very nice, let's stamp it again make those leaves really a nice, rich green to match our cardstock and our designer series paper. All right, so there's our heart. Two-step stamping with our Stamparatus. We're also going to stamp the For You. And I could do this on my Stamparatus as well, but I think just for the sake of time, I'm just gonna use my block. Okay, now we have dies for the words. We also have dies for the flower, all right? We do not have anything that cuts out the heart, except for our hands. So you're gonna need to use your hands for the heart. Now we're also gonna cut out this little banner right here. Um, and we're gonna cut out, if you can see the outline words right here, these really skinny outline words. And to, to get those to stick, really well um, and to not make a mess because they're super skinny I'm going to use some of my adhesive sheet I've got a piece here that just has some scraps on it adhesive sheets will turn your images into stickers that way we can just peel the backing off and it will be um, a sticker and it'll be easy to adhere all right, let me make some room. We'll bring over our cut and emboss machine. All right, so our flower, first up, we'll cut that with its matching die. Look at that. Beautiful. We love when these things line up and there's no fussy cutting involved. All 
right, there's our flowers. Now we're gonna cut out the for you. And I think I'll just cut this piece off to leave us some room to cut some other things as well at the same time. Let me put this over here on this side. I think the camera can see it a little bit better for you. Then we've got our Blackberry Bliss piece. Here's where the adhesive is. So I'm gonna put those right there. Let's see, this one's a little bit fatter. I think I'll use that adhesive there and that one there. And then from the fragrant flower dies, there's our label. All right, the only one we need to worry about staying lined up right now is that one. I think we did pretty good. Let's take a look. All right, good. There's our for you and our other for you right here. And remember, we've turned them into stickers with that adhesive on the back and our label. All right, so now we're gonna take these stickers, take off the backing, and we're gonna stick those right in the center of our stamped words. And just go slowly lining up your letters as you go in the center or as close to the center as you can. All right, now this one, we're gonna put right here. Going through, trying to get every letter lined up as best I can. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna get many dimensionals and we'll put many dimensionals on these words. like this and then we're going to adhere them on here like this for you now you've got your heart and you're just going to take your scissors and go around the outside edge really easy don't get too close, like I just did right there, to our flowers. Give it a nice little white border. Let's see, do you think I can smooth that out? Let's see, there we go. All right, now we need to make our box. All right, you're gonna need a piece of evening evergreen that, match a, that measures five and a half by eight and a half. Let me move my little place markers out of the way. Um, we're going to score on the long side at three fourths and seven and three fourths. On the short side, you're going to score at half an inch, two and a fourth, three and four and three fourths. Your box is three fourths of an inch thick. So each of these smaller sections are three fourths of an inch. Now you could change the measurements if you wanted your box to be shorter or longer. We just need to add with or take away the measurements from this portion right here. All right, over here, you actually have a half inch. I had this as three quarters of an inch, but then that meant it would be five and a half by eight and three fourths, and then you could only get one out of the box. So I made this one half inch, I mean one out of each sheet of cardstock. I made this a half inch so that you can get two out of one sheet of cardstock. So on this half inch section, cut off the end corner, the little tab, and when you do that, cut this long tab here at an angle like that. And then all you have to do is snip, 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 those score lines okay so grab your tear and tape 
looks like I didn't burnish that line. I did not. What in the world? I missed it. You want to get it nice and crisp. All right, tear and tape is a really good fit right here. Take your, take your pick tool or your scissors to help get that backing off. Fold it in half and fold over. Now on one end, we're gonna adhere the bottom, the bottom part, which will be this end, we're gonna adhere it closed. So I'm just gonna fold the sides and then the back. See, this is the back edge with that rough edge right there. And then the front will put adhesive on. All right, like that. We're gonna leave this side open so that the person you give this to doesn't have to rip the box open to get into it. So put that in, fold it up the same way with the front tab being the last thing. You're gonna get a piece of designer series paper. This is also from the Favored Flowers DSP pack. One and five eighths by six and seven eighths. By the way, you guys, there's a free PDF over on my blog with these measurements and the supply list. So make sure you hop over there and grab it. There, You will also find two other favorite flowered projects on today's post. All right, here's some of our gold ribbon, and this is how we're gonna keep the box closed. Okay. So just tie that like that. Cut off the ends of your ribbon. And now all we have to do is layer all of our beautiful pieces that we made. I'm gonna put some dimensionals right here. And I'm gonna put this flower like that. Next, I'm gonna put the heart right here with some dimensionals. And last but not least, the for you is going to go right across here like that. And there you have it. All right. I hope you enjoyed this project. Again, make sure you hop back over to my blog, grab that free PDF, and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.